Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. The sun comes up. It's a new day drawing. It's time to sing this song again. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we bless the Lord. And welcome to the celebration of the Eucharist with the Church of the Resurrection in Bryanston. Welcome to all subscribers and viewers on our YouTube channel. Today we celebrate the Mass of Our Lady. The antiphons are on page 1863 and readings are on page 1062 of the Daily Missal. This Mass is being offered for the repose of the souls of Margaret and Otto Dale. Entrance Antiphon. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who bore the Creator of all things. You became the mother of your Maker, and you remain forever virgin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist today. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, the children of Israel journeyed from Ramesses to Sukkoth, about 600,000 men on foot, besides women and children. A mixed multitude also went up with them, and very many cattle, both flocks and herds. And they baked unleavened cakes of the dough which they had brought out of Egypt, for it was not leavened, because they were thrust out of Egypt and could not tarry, neither had they prepared for themselves any provisions. The time that the people of Israel dwelt in Egypt was 430 years, and at the end of 430 years, on that very day, all the hosts of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. It was a night of watching by the Lord to bring them out of the land of Egypt. 
So the same night is a night of watching kept to the Lord by all the people of Israel throughout their generations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray the responsorial psalm. For his mercy endures forever. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. He remembered us in our distress, for his mercy endures forever. And he snatched us away from our foes, for his mercy endures forever. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, for his mercy endures forever. He brought Israel out from their midst, for his mercy endures forever. With mighty hand and outstretched arm, for his mercy endures forever. The Red Sea he divided in two, for his mercy endures forever. He made Israel pass through the midst, for his mercy endures forever. He flung Pharaoh and his force into the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. For his mercy endures forever. Please stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus, how to destroy him. Jesus, aware of this, withdrew from there, and many followed him, and he healed them all, and ordered them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved with whom my soul is well pleased, I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not wrangle or cry aloud, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. He will not break a bruised reed or quench a smoldering wick till he brings justice to victory. And in his name will the Gentiles hope. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The children of Israel journeyed from Ramesses to Succoth, about 600,000 men on foot, besides women and children. A mixed multitude also went up with them, and very many cattle, both flocks and herds. So the first reading today is from the book of Exodus and is describing the start of the Exodus, this journey to the promised land. And what's interesting to note that it wasn't just the children of Israel who set out on the journey. The book of Exodus describes how a mixed multitude of people joined them. People of different racial backgrounds were on the journey. And this inspires us to respect people who are racially different from ourselves. Even if the chosen people were in some ways stringently separated from non-Israelites, still refugees and immigrants continue to have significant rights among them. The Israelites were not to value their racial purity as an absolute, and the presence of foreigners among them is a factor shared with other oppressed peoples. It was as the smallest of all nations that God chose to show his love and fidelity. That's Deuteronomy 7.7. 7. So if we wish to embrace the privilege of being God's elect people, we need to in turn to embrace kindliness, compassion, and a healthy humility in face of today's multicultural and multi-ethnic society in which we live. 
In the Gospel, Matthew quotes Isaiah about the suffering servant. This particular passage from Isaiah was written during the Babylonian exile, and Matthew sees the apostolate of Jesus as fulfilling the description of the suffering servant. I'm sure it must have been quite puzzling uh, to narrow-minded Jews in later generations as it was so welcoming to Gentiles and its attitude towards Gentiles seemed so mild, offering hope for their salvation. Jesus is described as, My servant whom I have chosen, my loved one in whom I delight. The bruised reed he will not crush, in his name the Gentiles will find hope. And so if we ignore our neighbor's troubles, we hardly deserve the name of Christian. Like Jesus, we have some power to cure and heal quietly without ostentation. ostentation. And we cannot disregard the outsider without being called to account by God. As we open our hearts to people of different ancestry, According to the example of Jesus, we will be apostles of hope, not just for our others, but also for ourselves. In many ways, others can teach us how to be God's chosen people. And now we offer up our prayers and petitions to the Lord. We pray for the Church, the new Israel of God, that she may be freed from all servitude and follow Jesus through the desert in freedom and strength. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that God may raise up world leaders after his own heart, who will not contend or cry out, but will work to bring justice to victory in our own day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that we who feast on the unleavened bread of this Holy Eucharist may take hope and vigor for our pilgrimage from the grace that Jesus freely offers us in his living contact with our souls. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the bruised reeds and smoldering wicks for those so beaten down by their trials that they have almost lost hope, that Jesus may lift them up with gentleness and power. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our beloved dead, who keep vigil for the Lord beyond the grave, that their purification may be swift and their entry into the promised land certain. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Gracious God, we praise you for all who work for your kingdom to come. We thank you for seeing South Africa through many milestones in the past. We are sorry for failing the vision of justice, peace and mercy. Send your Holy Spirit to us in our present need as politically motivated violence and looting scar our country. Be with those who govern us. May they work selflessly and diligently so that our country may flourish in truth and in justice, in love and in freedom. Grant us a listening heart and the courage to act justly and peacefully, to love tenderly and walk humbly with you, our God. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that your oblation of this sacrifice may, by your grace, make of us an eternal offering to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'll use the preface of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the second Eucharistic prayer. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked after the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take the soul of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Booty, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed, of, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us pause for a moment as we pray for peace in our land, as we record the violence and the looting. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. The Communion Antiphon. He who is mighty has done great things for me, 
and holy is his name. I invite all who are participating on our YouTube channel to make your own act of spiritual communion at this moment. My Jesus, I believe you are really here in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in the world and I hunger to receive you. But since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul spiritually. I unite myself to you now as I do when I receive you. Amen. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.